Now let's focus on backlink audits. Now in general, Google are much better at detecting if a backlink should either help you or be ignored. Um, when they introduced Penguin back in 2012, uh, backlinks could either help or hurt you before they either helped you or they were ignored. So Penguin, when it was released originally, essentially gave birth to negative SEO because for the first time, links could hurt you. Now we're on Penguin. Google are much better at discrediting spammy links, but it is something that you should review. Now, in the case of the furniture market in Ahrefs, we can come and look at the anchors. For me, what are red flags when we're looking at these reports is usually you want to see branded anchor text at the top. If you don't, and if you see some kind of weird thing like this at the top, especially when it's accounting for 23% of your link profile, you might have an issue and it's worth investigating. The same if you're looking at this anchors report and you're seeing lots of kind of spammy anchors, abusive anchors. My, my own blog has had a number of backlink based negative SEO attacks. You can find some really fruitful anchors pointing to, to, to my blog. But if you see those kinds of things, um, you need to pay more attention. Now, the best way to do any kind of backlink audit is with link research tools. There just isn't a better tool. It's the most comprehensive tool and it's literally built to do exactly this and nothing else. So, um, no, that's not a lie. It does do a lot of other things, but we we use it for backlink audit specifically because it is just excellent. It is honestly the most excellent tool to do so. Now, in this case, you can see we crawled 574,000 backlinks. And based on that, Link Research Tool gave us a high detox score. Now, what we want to see is this detox score to be as low as possible. We want it to be green and happy. Right now, it's red and angry. Um, so we need to take care of that. Now let me show you why link research tools is the best tool for the job here. Um, it literally categorizes a list of actions in the order that we need to take care of them. So here we can see that we've got 13 links coming from sites that are reported as being infected with malware or viruses, right? We do not want those links pointing to us. We can click to review that. Link research tools will pull back this report that gives us all of the information about these links. Then on a link by link level, we can choose to either disavow the page or the domain. You should disavow the domain. Or you can just say, hey, all of these links are malware. I'm just gonna select them all. Oop, select them all and do a bulk disavow, right? So the aim of the game here with link research tools is to work through these problems. And you can see here's a spam from the globe. We found a common scraper spam footprint. We recommend to review the domains and disavow them, right? And all of these different risky, different risks that we have, we just need to review them, decide if we're going to disavow them or ignore. And link research tools then allows us to download our updated disavow file upload it and then it will go back through and confirm our detox risk score for us right so um it's a bit out of scope on this video to go through and review all of these but ultimately what we're going to do is review every single link and disavow it uh, accordingly with an the intention of reducing our detox risk score as much as possible that is the best and quickest and easiest way to perform a backlink based audit. But remember, the majority of people do not need to do this. Only do this if you see some kind of warning signals. Don't make the assumption that you have a backlink based penalty. Google are very good at picking that up now. And for the most part, unless you have a manual backlink based penalty, you shouldn't worry here too much unless you're seeing these weird anchors or giving you uh, reasons to investigate right here we're also seeing anchor text including like jpeg extensions and file dimensions and all kinds of things and uh, actually if we look at these let's see what's causing this yeah we'll see this is just scraper sites from blogspot so we know that these are all relatively junky links as well when we're clicking down into the details let's take a look at these no text referring domains again you can see here uh, if we probably open this up this is going to be well, it's a dead site. Uh, let's open this. 
again a dead site so all of these are links that we want to disavow and you can use ahrefs to get a, a, just a rough idea looking at your anchors should i be investigating here and if you are run a link research tools report and get control of your detox score